Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing my first home decor video today, and I'm gonna be showing you how I apply peel and stick wallpaper to the wall behind me. This is my dining room wall. I really wanted something that was easy to decorate it, and I think wallpaper is so cool. In my old apartment, I actually painted all the walls, uh, but in this apartment, we can't do that, so I thought that wallpaper that I can just peel off when we move would be a really great idea. And I reached out to Walls Need Love and asked them if they would be interested in working together. And they sent me some wallpaper. I'm gonna show you guys how I put it on the wall behind me. I'm a little bit nervous. I hope I don't mess up because it is my wall. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys the process of how I apply it. So you're gonna wanna start with wiping down the wall with a damp cloth. So I use like a mic microfiber cloth. You don't want anything that's gonna shed onto the wall. Put some water on it and wipe down the whole wall. I moved everything away like we have a one bridge in our lamp and we had a painting hung up over there. Took that off the wall, wiped everything down about an hour ago just to make sure that it dries properly. Now on Amazon, I bought this wallpaper toolkit. It was about like $9.99, I think, and it came with a smoother, a measuring tape, this cut thingy that goes through the wallpaper, a blade, and something to clean the wallpaper with, like to get any dust off. So I'm gonna be using these, I think, to help me put the wallpaper on and clean it and maintain it. So when you go onto wallsneedlove.com, you can scroll through tons of different designs and different wallpapers. I went with a more geometric design and I measured everything. They have a measuring calculator so it can help you figure out how much wallpaper you need for the wall. So I just wanted to have kind of like an accent wall. So I measured this and they sent me this whole roll in the mail and now I need to cut it down to make the panels. It rolled out. It comes with a protectant for a sheet. I'm going to use this red tool, see how it goes. I decided to use my table as kind of a measuring tape for the wall because it's about 79 inches, so I opened it up to about 80, 81 inches and measured it with my measuring tape and then rolled the wallpaper out. You can do this on the floor as well. I just thought it would be easy for me to do it with my table because my table does extend. And now it's time to cut. So I actually have this ruler from my days at FIT and I brought it with me when we moved because I felt like you never know when you need a graph ruler. And I think it'll just help me be a little bit more precise and make a straight line. I do have some excess I'm gonna be cutting off and I did the walls the wrong way so I am gonna be cutting off on here as well so the outlets were a lot easier than I thought I just pushed the paper over and then I cut along the line and did the same all around I am happy to say that the wall is complete I mean I have some really wonderful life lessons about wallpaper and I'm so happy that I'm done. But the things that I learned were that if you are going to do wallpaper on your own, I definitely would recommend either going with something more solid or a continuing pattern. I chose to do a geometric pattern, which is really cool and looks awesome when it's done but it is also really complicated to straighten up because all the lines need to meet. It took much longer than expected because I just didn't think about that. 
Um, another lesson that I would say when you are doing the corner, you should always start from the corner of the wall and work your way down. And the reason that you should do this is that you don't get stuck bunching everything in the corner like I did. Work your way down and it will be much easier. Use the excess wallpaper that it comes wrapped in as a cutting board. This came in handy when I was cutting along the edges. I didn't want to go through my table, obviously, so this was really great. Unless you have a cutting board, which is awesome too. I didn't have any on me, so this worked well. I found a graph ruler to be also very helpful with marking off the length that I needed the wallpaper because it came in one huge roll so I would mark off where I needed it and then I would draw across. You're going to want to peel back the paper a little bit, maybe a couple of inches before you go up to hang it up. It's just easier than trying to do it while you're up there, rather do it on the table. Cut the excess paper as you're going because a lot of it is going to be rolling under and you don't need that because it's hard to flatten it on the wall as you go if you have all this excess paper behind it. If you are doing a geometric pattern, I definitely recommend starting from a place that is easy to spot. So instead of like I did where I started in the middle of a pattern, I would recommend starting at a point. Something like this area would have been a smart spot instead of picking the middle of the pattern where it was much harder for me to line up and I had to go through more paper because I needed to start the pattern at a certain spot when I hung up. So happy with the outturn. Ben loves it too. I was a little bit nervous about how it would look in my living room, but the pattern is light enough that it's not overwhelming and it just makes such a big difference having one accent wall that has something on it. So I would highly recommend using Walls Need Love. They sent me the package right away. I was able to go onto their website to see how to apply it. If I wasn't doing a geometric pattern, it would have been something that was really quick and easy. It's also great if you want to change up a space quickly and you don't, um, or you're living in a rental like we are and we can't paint the walls. It's a really great way to change something up. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Definitely write down any questions if you have something below. Comment if you'd like to see more DIY videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Have a good day.